Meet Babar and His Family by Laurent de Brunhoff. This is one of my favorites from when I was little. One morning, Babar, the king of the elephants, opens his window. It's a sunny day. The leaves and the flowers seem to have opened overnight. Babar calls to his wife, Queen Celeste, and their three children, Palm, Flora, and Alexander. It's spring, he shouts. It's spring! Birds have built their nests in all the trees and bushes. They are busy bringing food to feed their babies, who open their beaks wide. Babar's young cousin, Arthur, is riding his bicycle with his friend Zephyr, the monkey. Stop, shouts Alexander suddenly. Arthur, won't you and Zephyr come play with us? Babar lives in Celesteville, the city of the elephants. Today, he has bought some beautiful cakes at the bakery. He is taking them to his dear friend, the little old lady. The old lady lives in Celesteville, too. Babar sees her every day, and Cornelius, the oldest of the elephants, often has tea at her house. During the summer, Babar works hard in his garden. He is happy. The flowers and the fruit are especially beautiful this year. Babar waters his garden faithfully. The children help him in their own way. But that rascal Arthur loves to play tricks. On a very hot day, what fun it is to eat ice cream cones. Zephyr the monkey is probably the greediest. The children like to watch Babar and Celeste play tennis. The ball goes ping against their tennis rackets. Babar and Celeste have many friends. They often give big parties for them in the Celesteville gardens. On warm days, the elephants go bathing in the lake. They have fun playing with the hippopotamuses. That does sound like fun. Sometimes Babar and Celeste go sailing. They love to glide silently over the cool water pushed by the wind. Flora has asked her father to take the family for a drive in the car. Here they are riding through the countryside. The elephants have gathered around the Celesteville bandstand for the last concert of the summer. But suddenly, the rain pours down. What a pity. Everyone has to run for cover. Now autumn has come. The old lady goes for a walk with Babar and Cornelius. How I love to go walking when the leaves are red and gold, she exclaims. The school bus stops to pick up Palm, Flora, and Alexander. They have to run to catch it. Hurry, we'll be late, calls Alexander. The old lady is their teacher. They are never bored in her classes, and she is not at all strict. Palm and Alexander play soccer with the other young elephants. They try to kick the ball very hard. Winter has come already. The Babar family is ice skating. Babar and Celeste skate gracefully to the music, but Palm and Alexander try to skate as fast as Arthur. Palm has fallen and hurt his knee. Celeste calls Dr. Capaloose right away. He comes to take care of the little elephant. This is not too serious, he says. Palm's cut has healed by the time the family goes to the mountains to ski. They all arrive at the railroad station. Quick, the train is going to leave, Zephyr calls. In order to climb to the top of the mountain, they have to take a funny little car that goes straight up the steep slope. The mountain is covered with snow. Even the fir trees are white.
Babar and Arthur have already put on their skis. They are gliding down the ski run at full speed. The wind whistles in their ears. Celeste takes the children to see the big ski jumping contest. Babar soars off the ski jump, flying like a bird. When I am big, I will jump too, Alexander thinks. The snow falls in huge flakes. No skiing today. This is a good day for a snowball fight. Palm and Alexander decide to make a snowman. Whom does he look like? Babar, of course. Have you ever seen a snow, whoops, a snowman that looks like an elephant? The Babar family has returned to Celesteville in time for Christmas. The moon is shining on the whole countryside. Palm, Flora, and Alexander stand by the window, hoping to catch a glimpse of Santa Claus. And that is the end of our story. Thanks for listening.